you know what time it is. Yo, homie, peep beer. Tempo, now check it out, you know he makes it funky, and he's good to go. Oh. Okay, well, Tempo is a platforming game with its own hip-hop R&B theme song, apparently. It's a very well-drawn game. I mean, it has so many great colors, everything just looks happy and colorful and amazing and wondrous. The levels are crazy, like completely crazy. As well-drawn as this uh, side-scrolling uh, game is, the levels are just insane, like, you don't know what's going on, like, how come TVs hurt you, and you collect these notes, but, like, flying umbrella monsters are also hurt you? These weird colorful blobs of weirdness are actually things you collect. It, it's just a cluster of n nonsense, really. These, that's what this game's levels are. I mean, look at this here. You're, like, walking through someone's mouth, I guess you could be like a tiny little thing in a mouth, but then there's clouds in the background and seagulls, and then there's these blue guys walking around. It's like, where am I going and why? And what does this have to do with music? Oh, there, there's a trumpet that pops out. Where does it come out of? Was there a trumpet in this giant monster's mustache fur? Like, why? Why is there a trumpet? Why is it trying to kill Tempo? It just this game is a load of craziness, really. It's a lot of crazy nonsense, but it's nonsense that looks good and colorful, and it's kind of fun to run through the levels. Some levels are just like this, a weird mouth. Some levels are just weird nonsense that you can't even tell what's going on, and some levels are like wacky little really colorful urban streets. I mean, look at this guy just gently bouncing a basketball. He's not hurting anyone, but hey, let's kill him, right, Tempo? Look at all these depressed basketball players just bouncing a ball around, and Tempo just has to kill them. I think Tempo is just a madman who decided that people who aren't as insane and happy like him don't deserve to live, so he runs around just murdering people who are having a bad day. As crazy as the foreground of the game is, the background is just as crazy. Look at the level here! I mean, are those red blood cells and then purple giant blood cells and then like atoms and neutrons and flying crystals and it's all taking place in some kind of blue weird mine? Tempo is just a platforming game that's completely and utterly ridiculous and insane. You don't know what's going on half the time. You don't know what helps you or what kills you, what's just dancing around, or what's something you're supposed to pick up. It's just a clusterfuck of insanity. It's like I just overdosed on Ritalin and went to Disney World. The game does handle very well. The controls are pretty precise for a nutty game like this. And, and for how insane everything is, it is actually drawn very well. I mean, you could see this is a professional game. I mean, this game would be pretty good if it cut down on the crazy by about 400%. As it stands right now, Tempo is an interesting experience, but I wouldn't say it's a good one. This game gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 6.4 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.